supernova or it drops the fire spirits on them and then they can't kill the viper anyway so it's pretty interesting and look for the big engagement burning Where's his clap? MMY, chilling touch bonus. They need to find him. The hex onto MMY, which means Bernie gets in range for the clap. One attack, and they will spill the first blood. IG off to a really good start. He's smoked to come for the mid kill. So maybe starting off already. There's his secondary shrapnel. Into the leech seed. Ferrari getting massively slowed down. He's, he knows he's dead. He bought a quelling blade. He feels he feels death there. Is there. So a sniper will get the revenge kill. Taking out Ferrari in the mid. Um, it could have been the Vi I think it could have been the Viper mid and a uh, Phoenix top and a safe lane sniper or they could have like there were two or three other constellations they could do especially when they decided to run aggressive trilanes is on that was that was a very easy kill for LGD here 18 one and he's not finding any major items like you're running the bottle okay maybe they can find a kill here double stun from Sean Faith with that cold feet they're gonna bring down maybe this is the break that we're searching for Ferrari won't get the last hit in fact it does go the way of Chuan and Xiao Wei has to how many games this happens professionally but it does happen maybe trying to push so aggressively on Ferrari and at the same time as Chuan as well as well, we got the Brewmaster split going off. That's going to keep Shaman out of this fight. As they move down towards maybe, they still haven't managed to get this kill. He's running down the river. Ferrari, maybe he, if he needs to, he can Song of Siren commit. But instead, Luo will just arrive for the scream. The Sonic Wave here as well, and the Sniper down. There's no reason LGD want to fight. Piper Mech. That Watching is. Burning on this top lane. Yeah. That was only going to be a matter of time before he jumped in on top of Yao, but Yao's got himself this Nova, as well as Icarus Dive, so Colby's going to have no effect. Xiao Wei was moving up to help him out, but didn't really want to, and looks like MMY is going to die. If he has to commit Sonic Wave, he'll commit Sonic Wave, but then again, Shock Shackles, he's going to stop it, the assassination's flying in, Luo, he actually gets the scream off in time, gets the kill on the Shaman, but at the same time he just gave uh, the third kill. Pick Viper, you pick him as, you don't pick him as a carry, right? Because then there's just flat out better choices as Faith is very, very dead yep. in the bottom lane here, we'll get clubbed down. The thing is, you're, you're picking Viper as a siege tank. And he's the best siege tank from all the towers they've claimed. Uh, four more than the Dire. Oh, Burn is going to go in. Well, they're going on Xiao Wei. Might not yeah, split yet, though. He doesn't really want to. Because he's not finding the opening on Xiao Wei. And what are you going to do when you go for that split? The Radiance Burn is doing more work than anything else. And Ferrari, well, hey! Okay, Song of the Siren. He's just going to walk up the Xiao Wei. Now, Xiao Wei's not going to burn inside the Song of the Siren. So he's very happy with this. Yao does also have his Nova available. Turns it on. Tree ulti. He just casts it because he realizes he's going to die. While that ultimate from Ancient Apparition with the Sonic Wave. A little bit of mistiming because uh, Viper's up in the air because the Brewmaster ultimate. The Silent's going to drop. They're going to take three here. Phoenix will be able to dive himself away to safety. And Sniper... Luckily for maybe, was able to TP himself out. But in the meantime, the bottom lane's pushed in. They're looking for the push onto the tier one tower. But are they are they fast enough for this after they've expended every ultra? Every time these wards are off cooldown, they want to be forcing some kind of rush reaction from IG. Now, Song of the Sirens back off cooldown again. So if Ferrari wants to, he can catch out three heroes, four heroes are in range. He's got an Invis rune to put up, get the perfect position. Burning's going to jump in, and Ferrari, well, is he going to slow this one down? The Phoenix is already going to go down. The Nova, he got it off in time. Burning, trying to escape out of this one, and uh, he'll be able to. Ferrari also buying some space, and Ice Blast going to do some serious work. MMY and Sila. Ferrari's going to come back in again. One Riptide's going to be enough to help kill off Sila, while MMY, he's still burning inside the tree line, and the Brewmaster will actually send him up in towards the air, which oh, allows him to blink blinked. himself away to save oh him and then TP God, out. Oh, that's just... That's, that's just a un blunder. Yeah. That's just a blunder. Should have just let him die with the burn, because he could never have blinked if uh, he was being burned by the radio. The heroes I'm generally looking for to counter out a Naga are Lion and Pugna. And the reason is Lion has two abilities that each instantly remove an illusion, and they're both on very low cooldowns with Hex and Mana Drain. And LGD, sure, they've got a Hex on, on Shadow Shaman, but that's it. And that's a 13 second cooldown that removes one Illu as Xiao Eight Lion. Th this is not his, his game. He keeps running into people. He only came in for again. some wards, and no, uh, Sonic okay, Sonic he was starting the overgrowth, but not time to interrupt um, Luo. But the problem is, okay, so let's imagine Naga gets big, right? We're, we're getting there. The Yasha already out on Ferrari. He's gonna, his farm is gonna explode now, as when he has an invis again. They see that they're burning, but they have nothing, they have no counterplay right now, no detection at all. Ferrari's actually just running them down. Oh, hey, ultimate. Gone. In for the stun, Mass Evermore's committed by MMY, the Bruma split got off, however, and Tree, what can he really do? MMY and Sila, they just burn in Ferrari's aura, the Nova will drop, so Yao comes out of it, but Ferrari's already managed to pick up two heroes, goes in for the Song of the Siren, TP out, he's out of range of the tower, 
So he'll be able to survive and Brewmaster, quick blink by burning, able to do it. Down to the low ground, here's TP as well. They just take a two for one trade off, the Viper drops, the Shaman's Ward's on cooldown, and that's probably it. Easy always. Yep. And you're right, the, the time for going top is, it's about over, right? They, they have like this very narrow window where the timing needed to come, and now Xiao again, Xiao Wei, again. yeah. I'm not, I'm not quite sure the BKB Siler's from Burning was essential, in. but Whoa. with Siler in this close, the assassination's flying in, they're looking for the kill on Ferrari, and they're going to be able to claim it, but the Sonic Wave shuts down the Viper, MMY will also drop until Yao gives him the space with that Nova of his, maybe his BKB is up, but he still gets connected on the Ice Blast, which means no matter what happens here, maybe we'll still end up dying. And the Brewmaster ulti is looking, ulti is looking for somebody else, but the rest of LGD is backed out of here. He's had a 3 for 1 trade, losing 2 of your cores. You committed your Mass Serpent Wards again, and IG are winning. This time, unlike game number 1, every time they take a fight, they're taking a considerable advantage in the game. And hope you can get into the high ground, uh, up, up to the high ground, do enough Xiao damage, Wei. and stop having this happen. Xiao Wei getting caught out inside, inside a vision of IG, so he'll end up dropping. Burning gets a split off, so the Master Serpent Wars, most of his time has gone down, and this could be the fight to end all fights. The Ice Blast still off target, Ferrari buys the space, the Scylla, he was actually exposed because of that BKB. As they come out of the Nova, and maybe this is their opportunity. Considering they brought down Ferrari, they're going to take care of the Brewmaster, burning back into his normal self. That's the only way he's going to survive. That Earth probably was going to tick out. He'll still end up dying at the end of the day. As we get trade-off after trade-off, a four for two is the way it'll end up being. And maybe a sure little bit more yet. as Luo is still on the back of Yao, trying to hide underneath the mass serpent wards of his with the creep wave here to help him out. Uh, but Yao is going to die. Sean might follow him. No, nope. The creep wave is going to take the aggro onto Faith instead. That's basically a full wipe. IG, get out. And again, it doesn't even matter if, if they lose the fight, as long as... There's plenty of other stuff to go with it. Luo can also go for a carry style build as... Oh, bottom lane, MMY. Yep. He's not dead yet. He might live. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, take it back. <laughs> but oh, they're trading, though. There, there is some good damage coming out from maybe Ferrari with the instab. The Ice Blast on the way, but he wants to assassinate up. Realizes this isn't really going to work for him, but Sila commits his BKB, he got that ultimate over on top of Luan Ferrari, has to go into Song of Siren. And he doesn't even TP down towards base, he just goes up to top. There's a tier 2 tower for him to kill here. And he'll easily take it. Well, just judging by the positioning, like, their, their, their plan is pretty obvious. You put down two aggressive observer wards, you wait for someone to come out too far from LGD. You find the pick off, like exactly this moment here. Sila, Xiao Wei needs to help him out. Yeah, if it's worth throwing the ulti, but the fish is there. And the Queen of Pain throwing out the Scardi Sonic Wave. It's a double kill coming the way of Luo. Chaw will be able to survive the assassination. As the Naga Song buys him the space to get out of the shrapnel as well as MMY. And Yao's attack, but because the Nova is down, Ferrari is there back off cooldown. Icarus Dive also been used to MMY. He only has one choice to throw down these mass serpent wards, but now they're in the middle of the open. IG can just let him go. Okay, burning. You could just let it go. He'll survive. Yeah. But I, 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 I don't think IG... They're not even finding a support kill on the map right now. Chuan, maybe they can. Mass Serpent Wards, heavy committal, and focuses the wards nicely on the line. The gem's in the open. Uh, Luo wants it. He'll have to pick it up. Drops the bottle for it. As BKB from Burning, he's also moving himself away from Xiao Wei. Now gonna jump in on top of Yao to trigger his own BKB. No Icarus died, but has Nova Sila instead up. His own BKB also triggering up as the Ice Blast on its way in. He'll connect on Sila, which means no matter what happens now, Sila will be dying. In fact, Xiao Wei will join him in a moment. Shaman up in the air. IG still fighting underneath these mass serpent wards, which kill the Broomcaster off. He wasn't able to get back to his normal self. Assassination on top of Luo. He'll blink and dodge it. Which means it's going to be a 3 for Phoenix three for 2 trade off. The Ice Blast attack. was the end finishing uh, move on Phoenix. Not throwing again, he just shattered. Blink and then Hex Sniper, and then they need to kill him. Like, then they need to get in on top of him. As it looks like they might try the same thing instead Where on MMY. No, Ferrari? maybe not. Okay, MMY, these shackles, he's a stop his Queen of Pain. And uh, Quapple ended up Aegis. dying, but it's the Aegis Immortal triggering out. And maybe these illusions are killing him off while Sila trying to focus on Ferrari. He's dropped him low. The assassination is coming in. In fact, he switched targets halfway through that over to Luo, realizing he couldn't finish the channeling. Sniper died to illusions. <laughs> Damn it to hell. <laughs> What's he gonna do? <laughs> well, much. It's like Jao Wei. What's he gonna do when he gets hit by the Ice Blast? In fact, I think he's also dead. The Shadow Strike is doing its work. Oh, yes, he's dead. Tick, 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 tick. 
And now I think they can go in. So Naga needs to run all the way back. Has boots trouble. I'm also wondering how long it's going to take for Ferrari to upgrade this defuser. Oh, plate. Salar's dead. He has buyback though, I think. Well, actually, the Ice Blast missed. So it's not a guarantee kill. He's trying to dodge. In comes the Phoenix. Starts off with the oh. Hex. Slowing down the Queen of Pain. Sala, he had time to attack. But Burning hitting in. MMY will drop as well. They do get the kill on the Naga. But right now, money wins Dota. They're just going to keep on fighting. They TP back in the Naga Siren. And up on top, there goes Xiao Wei as well. Shaman has more back. These massive wards are in a pretty decent position. But now the fight's in too deep. Chorm with a double stun. Yao and MMY caught out. And I think this is over, Sin. There is no other way they can come out. Maybe is just getting ganked up by five heroes underneath this tier four towers. There's no hope. GG. And this will, in fact, uh, level things up at one apiece, even though the score line is not showing in the game at the moment. Yeah, it's it's very hard to push high ground, but ultimately, like when you have this kind of an advantage, you need to really fuck up to not win this game as IT. <laughs> so they do do it in the end with a 40,000 gold lead as the game ends here. And we're gonna go to game three. I feel like this game, this game for me was. I feel like it was 